All right, smart casual. What is it? How do you do it? And when do we even need to worry about it? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So the term smart casual dates back to about 1924, but it really wasn't used to describe menswear until about the 1950s. And if you think about it, the term smart casual, it's kind of an oxymoron, like pretty ugly. Because on the one hand, you've got smart, but on the other hand, you've got casual. Now, smart casual does not mean wearing one piece that's smart and another piece that's casual, right? Because that would kind of be like wearing a sports jacket with joggers or dress slacks with a hoodie. It just doesn't work that way. So menswear and clothing in general has gotten a lot more casual in the last couple years. And to be fair, smart casual means different things to different people. So what I want to do in this video is to show you a bunch of different examples of how you can dress smart casual so that no matter the occasion, you will always be dressed appropriately. But overall, listen, as long as you're close, you're going to be just fine in most cases. And I also want to say right off the top here that in my opinion, smart casual does not include a necktie. And even though I love wearing jeans, jeans are only going to be appropriate if they're a certain type. And we'll get into that in just a minute. Okay, so when it comes to smart casual, a lot of times you kind of have to gauge the situation for yourself. I mean, you're invited to the thing, right? So you probably know the host or at least know the group that's hosting. And knowing this and then knowing the people that are most likely going to be there, that's going to give you an indication and kind of a general idea of how people are going to be dressed. What it basically means is they want you to dress up, they want you to be comfortable, and they don't want it to be too formal. It's basically a lot nicer than what you would maybe normally wear on any given Saturday, but not so nice that it's like a whole production at your house 20 minutes before you walk out the door. All right, so I'm gonna talk about shoes, pants, shirts, as well as sweaters and jackets. And I wanna start out with shirts because today's video is sponsored by Collars & Co. And their shirts have been featured all over the place. And Forbes magazine even said that Collars & Co. is changing the shirting industry. So these are essentially dress collar polo shirts that give you the same look as a dress shirt underneath, say, a sweater or a jacket. And they're a lot more comfortable, especially now that it's close to summer and the weather is getting a lot warmer. Okay, just one really quick side note here. The only reason I keep this golf shirt in my closet is for the collar. It's a soft collar, but for whatever reason, it just always looks super nice. And because of that, this is my go-to short sleeve shirt that I wear underneath sweaters. The problem is I got to make sure the neckline on the sweater isn't too low. Otherwise you see these crazy stripes, right? Not anymore though. This new one from Collars & Co just replaced it. So these are short sleeve, lightweight, four-way stretch shirts that have this extra rigidity in the collar and the placket. So they always stand up and they always look great. They're wrinkle resistant and you never have to worry about that funny bacon collar or floppy plackets. They look terrific on their own or, of course, underneath a sweater or a blazer. And this might even be my go-to golf shirt for this year. But seriously, these are some of the coolest shirts I've worn in a very long time. And I know you're going to love them as much as I do. So click that first link down below in the description right now and go check out everything they have and use code FASHION at checkout to get a special limited time discount on your order. The link is right down below and thank you Collars & Co for supporting my channel. I love your shirts. As far as other shirts go, just make sure you're wearing a collar. Button down collars are a great option as well as subtle patterns like small checks or small stripes. And also feel free to add some color with your shirts too. Okay, next we have footwear. Now, in my opinion, the perfect shoes for smart casual are either gonna be a pair of loafers or a pair of derbies. Now, I would choose kind of a neutral brown and completely avoid black altogether because black always tends to read like way too formal. And in the case of smart casual, you want to avoid formal footwear altogether and stick with something more casual like a derby or a loafer. Now, all the shoes I'm gonna wear today are either a slip-on loafer or a derby. The loafers you're gonna see me wear range from light brown to dark brown, but you're also gonna see a pretty cool blue pair. And these derbies are this brown wingtip design. All right, moving on to your pants. Chinos and dress trousers are gonna be your best bet. And like my good friend Jeff always says, chinos are like the Swiss army knife of pants. They pretty much go with anything and he's right. And in the case of smart casual, chinos are gonna be perfect. Now, as you can see, I've got a dark navy pair, a tan pair, an off-white pair, and I even threw in a pink pair just for fun. 
Now stick with darker colors like tan, navy, and gray if you know it's gonna be like an evening event or a dinner event. The lighter colors are gonna be a lot better for a daytime event or like an outdoor lunch or brunch gathering. Now for your top layer, go with a sweater or a sports jacket. And one of my all time absolute favorite looks is a dress shirt underneath the cardigan sweater, a zip sweater, or like a v-neck sweater. And it's one of my absolute go-to looks during the evening or during the day when the weather is a little bit cooler than it is right now. And the coolest thing about wearing these shirts is they don't get all bunched up underneath your sweater, which of course is gonna make you a lot more comfortable. And if you wanna go with a jacket, go with a sports jacket because that's gonna be your best bet. And avoid wearing a suit jacket or really any type of jacket with fabric that's got like a shine to it. That subtle shine or the sheen that you get from a really nice fabric, it's gonna look too formal. I've even got a few of these really cool knit blazers that feel like sweaters but look like jackets. They're super comfortable and I think they work pretty well in a smart casual setting. Now, moving on to jeans. Some say that you cannot wear jeans to an event with a smart casual dress code, and some say that you can. I'm kind of on the fence on this one, and I think the only way that it works is if you've got like a really dark wash pair with absolutely no distressing whatsoever, not even those little subtle little whiskers. And I do recommend wearing a jacket. However, the jacket should have a decent amount of texture and also maybe a subtle pattern. Because the texture and the pattern helps sort of make the jeans look a lot more appropriate because otherwise, like a really nice solid blue blazer is gonna make the jeans kind of stand out as this awkward item. Now on the topic of pattern, let's talk about slacks or dress trousers. Dress trousers are an absolutely great choice for smart casual, but I might avoid your suit pants, right? I mean, you, of course, you can wear your suit pants, but I would try for an odd trouser instead. And I would look for something with a subtle pattern to it. Something in gray or blue is a really simple choice because it's gonna be really easy to pair up with other items that you already have. Go with a solid blazer like this, a sport jacket or a sweater, and you're good to go. And listen, I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you made it this far in the video, tap the like button to let me know. And with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.